Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements in Oracle, Oracle Applications, and Oracle Fusion Cloud Technologies, both functional as well as technical. If anyone is looking for a training and placement, uh, please contact our coordinator. You can find in every video description what is our co coordinator number. Now we are entering into the third quiz in this session related for human capital management. Let me start the quiz here. Now the question is, which object is not a reference data set object? Which object is not a reference data set object? In human capital management, we have a very important concept called RDS concept, reference data set. Below objects, whatever we have, which object is not under the RDS? So we have job, grade, department, position. Four options we have here. Out of four, position is not the reference data set object. Remaining three all are reference data set objects. In fact, we have four objects in reference data set. What are those four? Job, grade, department, and job, grade, department, and location we have. But position is not the reference data set object. Position will be associated with the directly business unit. Okay, so I'm going to select the position. Now this is our correct answer. Click next button. Now we are entering into the second question. In which task we set up that we are using positions also in our implementation. We know that in human capital management implementations, we have the jobs and positions, but jobs are mandatory. We must implement the jobs, it's mandatory, but positions are optional. It's up to the client whether they wanted to have the positions or not. But where do we mention that we are going to use the positions also in this implementation? What is the task name? Exactly in which task we will enable that option says that in this implementation, we are also using the positions, including the jobs. What is the task name? Is it a manage jobs task or is it manage positions task or is it a establish enterprise structure task or is it enterprise HCM information task? Exactly in which task? Okay, so these are four options we have. I'm going to select this option, establish enterprise structure. Because in this task, there is a button to configure the job structure and position structure. Once you open this particular task, on the top of that, there will be two buttons. One is manage job and position structure. Another one is roll back the enterprise structure configuration. So when we go to jobs and position structures, there the system will ask us, you want to go ahead with only positions? Sorry, you want to go ahead with only jobs or jobs with positions? Okay. This is the task name, establish enterprise structure. You can just, if you are not gone through any time, please go back to the task and click the button, uh, jobs and position structure. There, if you check the radio buttons, then you will find the options, right? Okay, let's enter into the third question. To maintain the pay components, we will use below objects. First, we have to understand what is pay components. Pay components are nothing but salary, bonus. This all comes under pay components. Here we can see that pay components are basically we will be able to maintain like a salary, bonus, variable allowance, project allowance. These all are pay components. Where do we configure this? Generally in payroll module, obviously we will define elements. That's a different concept. But in when it comes for the workforce structures point of view, where do we maintain? Do we maintain this pay components, employee salary pay components, do we maintain in cost center or do we maintain in department or do we maintain in jobs or do we maintain in the grades where exactly we will be maintaining this pay components. 
This is mainly configured at grades. Whenever we are implementing global HR workforce structure, while creating the grades, system will ask us for this grade employees, how much salary you are going to offer? Is it monthly or annually? How much bonus you are going to offer? Is it monthly or manually? Annually, like that you are going to set this. That's what we call it as a grade. So the correct answer is grade. Next, now the fourth question. It is of course somewhat related for finance also, but a uh, definition is mandatory for HCM consultant as well as for supply chain management consultant also. What is ledger? Or what is primary ledger? What is the definition? So in enterprise structure, we used to say that uh, once we configure our legal entity, we'll be associating this legal entity with the ledger, right? So how? what, what is the definition of ledger? So ledger is nothing but a group of forces that everybody knows it, forces. Is it cost center, currency, compliance method, and chart of accounts? Or is it calendar, currency, compliance method, or cross-validation rules? Or is it calendar, currency, compensation method, and chart of accounts? Or is it calendar, currency, compliance method, and chart of accounts? Which force is combination is a ledger? What is the ledger? Which force is here? So if we look at here in our financials, whenever to maintain the accounting entries information, we are going to use this ledger. Yes, here we are going to have, now the answer is group of forces, calendar, currency, compliance method, and chart of accounting structure. These forces are used to maintain the accounting information in a proper format. So the fourth one is the answer. Let's go to the next question. We have two statements here. In these two statements, which one is correct? In, in this below two statements, which statement is correct? So statement one, legal entity will be assigned to the business unit. Statement two, business unit will be assigned to the legal entity. So which one is correct? The first one or second one? Okay. So when we are working in global HR enterprise structure, we are going to define the organizations and then we are going to associate these organizations in the hierarchy. Right. So when we talk about these two statements, which one is correct? That's the question. I'll give you one couple of seconds time. Let's think. Yes, here, if we look at the second one is correct. Business unit will be assigned to the legal entity. Not the legal entity will be assigned to the business unit because legal entity is a higher level compared to business unit. So legal entity is a top organization in enterprise structure. Within the legal entity, we will have at least one business unit or multiple business units. So here, business unit will be assigned to the legal entity, not the first one. Okay, let me select second one. That's the correct answer. Okay, so this is about our third uh, quiz. Okay, so you can go through our videos and quiz and uh, subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell icon to get the latest updates whenever we upload into the applications and share in the Oracle Cloud environments in our circle. Okay, thank you.